Hey Misfits, this is another Spotlight, and today we're looking at Star Wars The Deck Building Game by FFG. I've been stoked about this game because I will play anything Star Wars. Just keep making more Star Wars games. I don't care, especially a Mando game. We need a Mando game by now. But me and uh, Misfit Tom are going to play this game. We're going to show you how it's played, and uh, it is going to be a good time, I'm telling you. Right? Right, Misfit Tom? Right. Can't wait. <laughs> Let's play. Uh, so, this is the, deck, the Star Wars Deck Building Game. Uh, this game is... I mean, it has all the elements of a normal deck builder. They just added a few tweaks. It is a versus game. So basically, you're rebels against Empire. I can't wait to the inevitable scum expansion, of course. Um, but we're playing against each other. Uh, it is pretty simple. You draw five cards at the start of the round. Like any normal deck builder, if you don't have enough to draw, you will reshuffle your deck. Now, the big thing in this game uh, that's similar is you have resources to buy cards from your row. Um, and you, uh, But you also have attack points. And that's one of the uh, interesting aspects. Um, so if you notice, the cards in here are turned different ways. The sideways ones, anybody can buy, they're neutral. Um, but the Rebel and Empire ones are turned opposite ways. And the reason for that is they have numbers facing the opposite player. Uh, you use your attack points in this game to get rid of these cards. So, for example, I have a Death Trooper here. If Tom gets three attack points, he basically will discard this card from the row and gain a reward of, uh, of two force points, which we'll get into that in a minute. This will go to the discard pile and immediately draw and put out another card. So it gives kind of an element in here where you're getting rid of cards from the row, not only to help yourself, but also to get them away from the other player. If a really strong card comes out and get rid of it, why not? It'd be great to do it. So, so that element is actually really kind of cool. And then you have your force points where you have a force level here. It starts out on the rebel side. If it's in the first three blocks of your side, the force is with you. Um, if it's in the middle, it is neutral. And if it's all the way on your side, you get a bonus uh, credit at the beginning of every turn, allowing you, of course, to buy better things. The goal of the game, though, is to really take out these bases. Now, each base is a starter base. It starts with eight hit points. And basically, you will be using not only your hand of troops and other uh, nefarious people, or in your case, good nefarious people. Array heroes. <laughs> Array heroes. To take out the other person's base, but you also use capital ships, and you'll buy these from the middle. You don't start out with any. And these ships are the only thing that stay out at the end of each round, because like most deck builders, you clear off everything you have. But the capital ships stay out, and they give you credits at the beginning of your turn, but you also commit them to attacks to the other person's base. Not only that but they will also defend your own base when you have them out. So to be able to damage the other person's base, you have to get through their capital ship. So if he has a blockade runner, for instance, you will have to get past the blockade runner by doing enough damage to that for, and then working on the base itself. So it's kind of a struggle to get capital ships to build up so you can do proper attacks on the other person's base. And then of course you have your generic cards that everybody could buy. It's an outer rim pilot. Uh, exile this to gain one. Exile, of course, is your remove from game. And uh, so basically every round it'll give you two credits when you play it, but you can ditch it out of your deck to gain one force point, moving it on your track. Pretty simple enough, right? It That's... seems pretty simple. It's like any other deck builder. You've got your starting stuff out here, yeah. which is basically crap, and you're trying to get better stuff. Exactly. Why don't you start us off your Rebels, right? Well, let me I... shuffle me up here. You sh oh, you're going to start with a fresh hand. Oh, and I did, I did forget to add, when you do destroy the person's base... You get to actually go through the remaining bases you have, which are all different strengths. Choose the one you want, put it out. You gain a benefit when you put it out, and you're obviously going to probably pick tougher bases. Although I'm sure the benefits are probably better on the lower end bases. Yeah, I've been reading some of the cards, and like, there's, if they're smaller, but they might say, "Okay, we'll take a capital ship off the row." So yeah, it's you like, get a free card. Yeah, out so of it's the pretty, deal. it's pretty good as far as that. I think they're pretty nicely balanced from a first glance, at least. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's it offers you a chance maybe to catch up by having a tougher base. But you might want to use that lower level base just so you can get a, something amazing for free off the main board, which I like that a lot. That's actually that actually makes a lot of sense. Okay, and so rebels. Just a note to everybody at home: rebels start with the force because we're the good guys, and then this force <laughs> meter changes through the whole thing. So uh, if it's all the way in one direction, then at the beginning of the turn you'll get a resource. But like right now, because it's my first turn, I'm going to get a resource. And, and actually, I double checked because I, I thought this might be the case. Empire actually gets the first turn. It's specifically oh, okay. because you start with the force. Oh, okay. I start sucker, with the force. So. Sucker. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's just well, that makes sense, though. You start does. with the force. I don't have no force on my yeah. side. Even though I have Inquisitors. You would think I have some force, but apparently not. Well, you can gain force. I mean, I'm, I'm gone. That's the idea. I mean, because you can, you can have the Inquisitor get you force. 
So I already started out with, a, I wouldn't say a great hand, although I could get rid of your X-Wing. So I have two Stormtroopers that generate four attack. Now, I will say capital ships cannot attack this row, by the way. They're only used for attacking other people's bases or blocking. So you have to use troops from your hand to get rid of cards from the Now, from these the blockade hand. runners, are these rebel only? No, they're both sides. Oh, okay. They're both sides. They have no faction. So if you notice, there's a faction symbol. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. The blockade. Apparently, Empire can buy capital ships from the store just like everybody else. No, it makes sense. Yeah, kind of. I mean, you go to, a, you go to a wholesale store, you can buy whatever you want. You got enough cash. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to use my four fight to get rid of your X-Wing. Sorry, oh, bye no. X-Wing. I'm going to gain three credits. So they use these little cubes to track it. And you don't necessarily probably need them. You can use counters or whatever else So why did you get an extra extra resource or did, for the Inquisitor? Or you, no, oh, no. you get oh you get I a took, reward I, on the yeah, card. So, okay. so I paid I paid four. I took that car, I took it out. And as a reward, I gained three credits. For oh, that's round. nice. Yeah. So that goes to this card pile, and a new card comes out. It is uh, a Keldor Mystic, which looks like, uh, what's his face, uh, that Jedi? Uh, yeah, that Jedi guy. Is, that's sad that my brain is, uh, uh, not Kaede Mundi, Shaq T, no, not Shaq T. No. Um, oh my god, I'm going to feel like an idiot. Uh, I know, I should know this. <laughs> Um, George Lucas. I'll remember. Is be mad. Yeah, uh, yeah, he is gonna be mad. I know the names of all the Jedi. It's just escaping me right at this moment. But I'll remember later. It'll come to me. He was. Uh, he was He's actually the guy that the, had the mask. He, he had the mask. He's the mentor for Ahsoka. He drove a, a pretty mean starfighter. He was actually a great starfighter yeah. pilot. Yeah, he was. he was actually well known for that. I'm not gonna go to Jedi trivia anyway. So I took that out for three. Um, now that gives me three, four, five, and an optional. One more. Uh, I'll probably yeah. I'll probably use this. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to use this to probably move your force bar. But first, let me see what I have available by because I have five already. If I use this for a, a point, I'm going to get a whole. Um, yeah, I'm going to get six. I almost had enough for a barge. I was so close. Um, so I'm going to use the three. Do I get a blockade runner or a death trooper, man? I don't know. That's a tough call, right? I don't know. A death trooper is pretty cool. <laughs> death trooper is pretty. Yeah, you know, I'm going to get death trooper. So it goes my discard pile. Um, this comes out. A Y wing. That's uh, the face yeah, is your way. Face my way. So I spent my three on that. I'm getting. I'm getting two from this. That's my other two. I was just keeping it there. But I have five total, so I spent three. I have two left to buy. I could get that Mystic. I was gonna buy the Black Rainer. I can use this toe to get a third. However, I noticed that um, I can get rid of your Y wing for one attack. So I'm gonna generate one attack from this. Get rid of that and gain one resource anyway. Ah. Look at me, just blowing up stuff left and right. Ah, Piet, I have three. Um, Piet's really, Piet's not bad. He gives uh, each of your capital ships two. So uh, I'm gonna pay two to buy Piet. That brings out a Rebel Transport. Ooh, I can't, I can't blow that up though. Oh, you can't blow up transports, by the way. You, you're the only one who could buy them, obviously. But I can't blow, you can't blow up transports. Okay. I should mention that, yes. <laughs> That leaves me with one left. I might as well buy this. Uh, this is my. I might as well buy this headhunter. So I'm going to pay one to buy the headhunter. Now some games don't let you restock, but this lets you. Restock. This lets you restock immediately. It's not like um, after the turn it restocks immediately. I made sure to look at that because all games are different in that regard. So that is my turn. I think I had a, a profitable turn. I think so too. Uh, and I think Maxi needs to be quiet. Yeah, it is your turn, my friend. Okay. The force is with you, so you start with oh, one. Oh, I start with three. one. Yay. Hey, okay, so I got three shuttle, four shuttles and a trooper. Yes. So that's kind of lame, but I get four resources. Yes. Yeah. So you have five total, and you have two attack. Two attack. Which Let's is not going to do anything. anything I can kill? No, no. So, yeah, there's nothing to fight in the middle. It's literally just a bunch of dudes, shops, and, and a transport. Okay, but I got five to buy with and two to shoot with, and I, there's nothing I can shoot because you got you don't have anything shootable. Uh, but I can shoot you your are, base. You are, yes, you can shoot so my base. I'm going to shoot your base for two. Yeah. Actually, I, I thinking about it, I forgot. I could have shot your base, but the cards blowing up in the middle was too tempting. So you're going to shoot it you for two. You blew the heck so, out of the cards. Because the upside for you is you blew up one of my cards and another card came out and you bought it. Bought it, yeah. Um, so when you commit to attack, you put the card up here. Basically, that's committing them for this turn to attack. Just just to notate the fact okay. that you use that card. So that no way problem. you don't... Yeah. And so I got, I got five resources to buy something. Yeah. Uh, I, like I think I'm going to buy a blockade runner. I like to give us little uh, quick cards over here. I like yeah. it. I like quick cards. I They're like awesome. It. Okay, so I used four. And then uh, there's nothing out here for one. 
So I'm done. All right, discard our resources. Oh, you got a block. That goes in your discard pile, buddy. Wait, does it no, go? No, the, the, the capital chips come out right away? You have to play it. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, they don't. I don't think they come out like immediately. You still actually have to buy them. Okay, um, it makes sense. Mm. Yep. Yeah, no, it, uh, yeah, it it's like in your discard it goes in your discard pile and, and eventually you pull it out. Yeah, it's not immediate. That would change the flow of the game a little bit. That was a Jawa. A Jawa. See, well, that's something I could have bought for one. That is. Which so, I still could, really. Because <clears throat> I, when I bought that, that would have come out. Yeah. Did you have one What's left over? Yeah, I had one left over. Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> it's the first time we played. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll take the Jawa. Sure. Yeah, that comes out immediately. That was a Gazanti. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, and it's, it's, it's impy. <clears throat> it's what? It's all impy. Yeah, it is all impy. You're not wrong. Um, all right, my turn. I'm going to have an easy turn. <laughs> what are you buying? What are you buying? I'm going to buy uh, this Rebel Transport. It looks amazing. Mm. <laughs> so I like how they use cubes in this game. It is helpful to keep track, although like, if you play deck builders enough, you do the math in your head pretty pretty easily as it is. I'm still going to upgrade these to... to uh... My, my, destiny, credits. my yeah. destiny credits. I agree. That, that, <laughs> these are, to be fair, you should have an upgrade kit, maybe FFG, but these are kind of lame. I mean, I get the idea. Well, they're probably going to be in tournament kits at some point. Yeah, maybe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> FFG, we're, we're ready to work for you anytime. Yeah, honestly, we've got all this down. We yeah, can, I mean, you can just... hire us for, for <laughs> all your promotional needs. <laughs> okay, so when you purchase this card, I could buy a mercenary though. Exile one card from your hand or discard pile. Um, up to two cards instead. Oh, so you get rid of a card. Oh, he's he just gets rid of stuff. And he's got a four attack. Whereas a Gazanti card lets you discard a card to draw a card every turn because he stays out and uses ability to do that. Um, that is a tough card. You're not buying that anytime soon either. No, I'm not buying it at all. <laughs> I'm not buying it ever. And you, can't, and you can't blow it up. That's the nice thing about it. So, and it is cheap, so I'm I not going to... blow it up? Why can't I blow it up? No, you can't blow up cruisers. There's no... You can only blow up units. But yeah. then how do you get rid of... What? Stuff that... Doesn't that Gazanti protect your base? No, you could blow it up when it's when you have like if I have it, you could blow it up. I'm just saying while it's in the oh main, when it's in the when it's okay, in the row, like, uh, okay, yeah. yeah, you can't blow it up. It just stays there. Not like you know some of the units. So this just, is going to be here next. That's going to be here next turn. Yeah. yeah, it's not going anywhere. Um, so I will use my four, actually. You know what? I'm going to hold this card in my hand. I'll say I'll, I'll, I'll have the four. Just say I played these four. I'm going to buy this card, and I'm going to uh, exile. Should you have to draw that? Or is it upon purchase? No, no. It's why wh when you purchase this, you can exile a card in your hand. Oh, okay. Up to two if the force is with me. Um, but I like his attack value, so I'm going to buy him. So I buy him, and then I'm going to exile this card. So this card's going out of the game. Okay. Just getting rid of that. Well, don't put it on a nice, pretty box. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so picky. Uh, and that is going to be. The You're the one that made Oh my god! On it's just add that. Oh. oh, oh, it's gorgeous. It takes six to blow that puppy up. Yeah. Which I don't have anything close to six because I'm on still starter deck. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I got a jet Temple Guardian though. Ooh. Oh, he's cool. He adds a trooper from your discard pile to your hand when he's out. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I've got one, two, three to buy with possibly four. Mm -hmm. The Temple Guardian, I could do any of the uh, ones. Right. Uh, I don't have much in the way to buy. Uh, I could buy a... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Well, you're going to have three resources anyway out of the gate. For those oh, yeah. Cards. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. I got so... three, but I also got one because the force is with me. Oh, so correct. I got four. Yeah, I would not probably play it yet. So just hold yeah, on I'm not, to that. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to that. So I'm going to commit these and get the blockade runner. Another blockade runner? Right yeah, on. why not? And then I'm going to shoot your base for two. I don't like that idea, Super Sir. And then what about your other one? What about the other Oh, uh, make it three then. Make it three? Yeah. Oh, you're just beating me up over here. People have fall out of this, you rebel scum. <laughs> <laughs> and it's your turn. <laughs> now, I'm curious. I, you know, I have to wonder if you need, like, it says you can attack with anything. I'm surprised that you uh, don't need a capital ship to be able to attack in the first place. But it says commit units and capital ships with attack to attack the base. That's interesting. Well, they're like guerrilla units. They just get dropped off in a shuttle and start blasting the base. I guess. Pew, 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 pew. 
I'm gonna double check that roll on your turn. I think it's weird that you yeah, can it might end up errata. It might be. It might. <laughs> like, it's weird that you can't like like you can't like you know what I mean? Because otherwise, I mean, I guess it gives you something to do with your attack or whatever. Yeah. Mm, you, you I mean, it's it. like I'm attacking your hit points. So, what else would I do if I? No, it doesn't say anything about needing uh, capital ships. So it's like you got to rush and get a capital ship quick. I, I failed on that one. Um, all right. So I'm getting four to buy out of the gate. Hopefully that gives you two. Nice. Uh, he gives me two. Yeah, and he busts my capital ships that I don't have. Um, but I have five attack. Vader's going to choke him out. <laughs> well, I'm going to use three attack to get rid of your Rebel Commando first. It gives ah. me two force. So I'm finally getting rid of your, at least your bonus there. Oh, Chirrut. I want to shoot Chirrut in the face too. Ah. No. He won't see it coming. So he won't see it. Ah. <laughs> that's, that's, you, should, you should feel bad. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do two to your base. Okay. With my headhunter. And uh, that gives me four left to buy. I guess it's time to buy that Gazanti because I cannot afford to add that, sadly. That is very sad. So, yeah, I will pay three to buy my Gazanti finally. And do I have something? Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Cassia, baby. No. Uh, that's it for my turn. I don't think I'm going to generate five, but we'll see. You never know. I've got Cassia and insure it. I love Cass. He's cool. Yeah, everybody likes Cass See, now. I got shuttle, 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 and a trooper. So I'm going to do two to your base. Two, four, five, six, seven. You almost blew it up. And then I get to earn four. And okay, what am I going to buy with four? I am going to buy Chirrut. No. What comes out? I got one left. What comes out? Jabba the freaking hut. <laughs> He's, he's eight. Is he neutral? Yeah. Oh, he's sweet. eight. He gives you two attack, two buy, and two force points. And exile one card from your hand to draw one card. Yikes. Well, my turn's That's over. That's a really, really good card. Bro. My turn's over. Did you? Uh, you didn't gain one for the beginning of your turn, right? No. Oh, okay. Just making sure. Or I would have bought something else. <laughs> I, know. I know. I know. Well, I didn't blow that up. Uh, I got three from shuttles. Now I have a lot of attack. Oh, do I want to blow up Casa or blow up your base? Because I can blow up your base right now. I got six to attack. It's a lot, Ombre. That is a lot. However, if I blow him up, I get three, which gives me six, which is enough to buy my at Ooh, that's tempting in a bucket of I know. Chips. It's like, oh my goodness. Yeah, you know what? As much you're as gonna I let, blow, yeah. You're gonna, yeah, no, I'm going to take out Casa. I have to. Like, oh. that is. So I'm going to get three resources for a blown up cast. That's an interesting aspect. Then the force leaves you entirely because it gave up. And uh, he I felt it right here. I know, right? Oh, it's a falcon now. What ah! is that? Oh, jeez. Ah! I'm going to buy it now. Uh, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy that at it. Oh, of course you're going to buy it. Of course I'm going to. Oh, Chewbacca. What is ah! this nonsense? <laughs> oh, my goodness. And uh, since I had to commit those guys to him, the extra damage doesn't go anywhere. So, yeah, that's, that's going to be it for my turn. Right, okay, so I've got a lion shuttle. Let's see, this one happened. Blockade runner, blockade runner. Oh no, jeez. Jawa scavenger and temple guard. And then, okay, this says exile this unit to purchase a card from the galaxy discard pile if it were in the galaxy row. That's an interesting, interesting, interesting thing. So when I put these out, I get the resources for them, right? Yes. Okay, so resource, resource. I get a resource for the lion shuttle. I get yes. two resources for the Jawa. Correct. So I'm going to exile this unit and buy Cassian for five. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. So it says exile? Exile the Jawa. Uh, I, I want to make sure because sometimes you have to exile from your hand. And if that's the case, you don't get the two resources. Oh, let me double check. Okay, double check. Because that makes an important Pausing. That makes it a... Ah, no, it even says, when you play a card that has an ability to exile itself, you can use that card's attack, resources, and force before exiling it. Sweet! So, um, hi, Cass. It, it doesn't say from your card, or it just says, doesn't say from your hand or discard pile? No, you're good. Yeah. So, this gets exiled. Yes. 
And then Cass gets in my hand for oh, five. No, that's disappointing. And then uh, a Temple Guardian can do something. I'm going to blow up your base. No. And when I blow up your base, do I get any rewards or does it just blow no, up? No, it just goes on your side. Okay. Like so I blew up the tall. And uh, I've, got, oh, I've, got two, I've got two more uh, gun guns, too. Huh? i got two more gun guns. Uh, two more pew pews. Yeah, well, you can't. The other base doesn't come out till the start of my turn. So yeah, like yeah, I get you. But I was looking at what was that, what was on the board. But no, there's nothing on the nothing board. Nothing to blow up. Them. Nothing to blow up, sir. Okay, so these boys stay out because capital ships stay out. I got three, so I gotta shuffle these up. And so now, whenever you'd want to try to shoot my base, you got to chew through these boys first. You are absolutely correct, sir. And then at the beginning of my turn, I gain one resource from all capital ships in play. But I, I do I do I get the attack value if they're out or what? Wait, say that again. Sorry. Well, at the beginning of the turn, it says you gain one resource from your capital ships in play right yes. or gain resources from your capital ships in yes play. so you'll gain one from each of these they do just... they still get to attack with their one now yes okay yes correct you commit them to the oh attack. i see where it says it says later you can commit them to the attack. yeah so they give you whatever would they basically give you whatever they have on their their cards i got gotcha. you but they don't go against your hand size correct capital ships rock yeah <laughs> Oh, there's some interesting And now you got to pick a base. Yep. Oh, that is... I get the, I could just bust out the Death Star. I like that. You have a Death Star? I have a Death Star. Oh, nice. It lets me play lots of... I spend, you only have the one Death Star? You don't have the second one? <laughs> yeah, sadly not the half-built <laughs> one. So you spend four to destroy capital ships. Um, okay, well, I'm just going to go with the one I thought of first. So I'm going to play Rhodia. It's okay. a period of occupation. It says, when you reveal Rhodia, deal one damage to any base for each enemy card in the galaxy row. So they have one, two, three. So I deal three damage to your base, then discard each of those cards from the galaxy row. Oh, so you, you circumvent my blockade runners for that. Because yeah. it's a special ability? Yes. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's... You blew up Chewy! I got a U-Wing. Oh, U-Wings. Oh, U-Wings, my side. And a snow speeder. Man, all your cards are coming out over here. Look at that. Somebody didn't shuffle for crap. I think they shuffled pretty good. <laughs> you didn't let me help. If I'd have helped, all the <laughs> imp cards would be out. <laughs> so, um, so I have four to buy. And I have two to attack, possibly a third. However, uh, it's a tough one. A tough one. Well, I am. Um, it's all one comfort. I do like that, but it's got. A, I do like blowing that up. However, it's exile one card from your hand or discard pile. I don't. I, you don't have I, anything. I don't have a pile. discard pile. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a bummer. I'm gonna probably use this to. I can't. Oh wait a minute. Can I do four damage? No, I can do three only. Okay, so I can blow that up, but that's not really too helpful right now, and I don't really care that much about a snow speeder. Oh, that is so your opponents discard one card from their hand. Oh man, that's that's not bad actually. Oh man, this is a tough call, buddy. Um, who can I buy? What is what does that transport do? Oh, the hawk. Hawk. It gives you, it gives four, you four money. Four money, and you exile it to buy. Oh, that's pretty good. That is good. That is good. Yeah, I'm gonna pay the four to buy the hawk first. Pull another card. High bomber. Yes. Unfortunately, I use all my money. <laughs> unfortunately, that's the way this game is. Unfortunately, <laughs> I used all my money. Um, I don't want to exile from my hand. So you know what? I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do two damage to one of your blockade runners. I kind of need to pour on the damage. Actually, I'm gonna do three damage to your blockade runners. Okay. I'm just going to dump it all on one. Okay. And that's going to be my turn, sir. Okay, so my turn, I get one for each blockade runner. And what do I got in my hand? Shuttle, 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 trooper, and guardian. 
So I'll get the three for the shuttles. Gives me five. What am I going to buy? And then I'm going okay. to buy the snow speeder and U wing. Probably buy one at a time first, right? Oh, well, well I'll, I'll buy the snow speeder first. Okay, so there's your four. Okay, that's time or something. And I'll pay the other four and get the U wing. There you go. And then that gives Twilight me two damage. And I'll shoot your base. Pew pew, you are really up on blowing things up. You're just mean, man. I like blowing stuff up. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> All right, so oh, uh, and I didn't, I didn't attack twice with these either. Oh yeah, yeah. You so can I can do two damage. Yeah. Two damage. Come to you. Pew pew, bang bang. All right, you done shooting at me, buddy? Yes, for now. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna put out a Gazanti cruiser. Finally well, got now some I defense. gotta shoot through a Gazanti. You gotta shoot a. I'm going to use the ability now. It said to use it when you use their ability, you just turn them like a little bit sideways, like not okay. entirely. I, I just say turn them sideways. Yeah, but tap like, them like we know how to. Yeah, tap it's them. like it says knock them a little bit in the book, but we could just tap them. And just them yeah. Who? Right. Well, the idea is, it, I guess maybe it's more. I don't know. If it's more so I'm going to discard one card from my hand and draw one card. So I'm discarding that because I mean I could buy a tie bomber, but eh, I'm going to see if I get something better. That's another shuttle, yay. Well, we just got a shuttle <laughs> for a uh, shuttle, yay. Yay. Hooray, me. Um, I am going to like this, though. So I'm going to attack your base with these guys. While the force is with me, which it is right now, the trooper gains two more attacks. So I have five, six, seven attack. Okay, so. So uh, four. One. Yeah, one, four. So I take up both your take up both of those with five. That leaves me two that I'm going to do to your base. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that was a lot of that was a lot of death trooper action. So the do these they get, go in your discard pile. Discard pile. Yeah. Okay, so they I can they, get they, them they back wrap they wrap back around. Okay. So uh, and then I got my two that I'm gonna buy. I'm guess I'm getting the bomber. Yeah, I kind of dig that. Discard one card from the galaxy. Oh, it gets rid of like some good cards in the galaxy. Rough, I want. Not bad. I'm gonna buy it that. It bombs the galaxy. Right? It bombs the galaxy. You're not wrong. Okay, so it's my turn. Yes, it is. So I can't attack with the Gazanti because it has no attack. So, okay. So I got shuttle, 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 trooper, and Cassie and Door. Oh wait a minute! I got to put a new card out. Sorry. IG88. Peeps. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna get three. Yep. I mean, well, I'm just gonna do seven to your planet. Sure. Well, not my planet, but yeah, I mean your base. Yeah. So I kill the cruiser, and then the spillover goes. So what is it? Total seven. Seven. Three. Four more. Jeez, you are just brutal here, buddy. Well, I almost used Cassian's ability that if I blew up your tie interceptor, you'd discard a card. Ah. So I almost went that direction. And I didn't buy. I think I'll take that twee. Wow. I, have, I had an amazing turn, but it's not going to be that amazing now. I have so much. I have so much. Attack value, it's not even funny. <laughs> and I can't use almost any of it because your base is pretty dead. Yeah, I'm like, we'll use the one on Dantooine and blow it up. And then really the other seven will go nowhere. <laughs> so I'm going to use Tie Bomber to discard a card from the Galaxy Row. Uh, I don't know who I want to get rid of. Let's see, it's two, three. Actually, you know what? First, here, before I do that, okay. take that back. I'm going to throw four at the X-Wing. Boom! Boom. Game three. Oh, son. Uh, oh, son, you just replaced my X-Wing with a B-Wing. Thank you. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to shoot the B-Wing now. <laughs> 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 you're just locked and loaded on whatever ships come out <laughs> pretty much yeah you're not wrong um exile up to two cards from your hand what's with the exile when i have no discard pile oh my god i hate that okay so you know what i am going to use that to exile the z95 from my hand because it's i don't need the attack power this round anyway and i just want to get rid of i just want to get it out of the way star destroyer there you go oh yes so i got a little excited there i'm gonna do um the two to your base. Finish off your base. Kablooey! And it says discard one card from the Not galaxy. Not Dantooine! Not Dantooine! Um, yes, it is indeed so the Dantooine. Okay. Okay. Uh, and I have four to buy. Well, first, uh, I'm going to exile 
I don't want to exile, buddy. Um, I don't want you to get a hold of him. That job is so good. Uh, I'm going to get rid of IG-88, actually. And a TIE Fighter. Sweet. That's a pretty sweet card. So I'm going to pay three now to get a TIE. Krennic. Oh, man, Krennic. Oh, you're you're awesome, buddy. I'm going to pay one to buy that TIE Fighter. Another Star Destroyer. Oh, man. I need all the Star Destroyers. <laughs> Your key could go. My God. So I, I gotta need... put on a new ship, right? You gotta what? Okay, I gotta get. I gotta put a new planet out, right? Yes, you choose the planet. I'm putting up Mon Calamari. What does it do? It says when you reveal Mon Calamari, purchase a rebel or neutral card from the Galaxy Row for free and add it to your hand. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's because it's a ten. I yeah. got you. And, and add it to your right. hand. Add it to my hand. Oh, 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 oh my oh my god. Oh. <laughs> That's awful. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's just gross. Blockade runner. Sea Rock. We got a Twi'lek, Rebel, Chirrut, Alliance Shuttle, and Jabba. Jeez, that's gross. And this is put the next re next card you purchase on top of your deck. So I can get one, two, three. Uh four, you mean? She's yeah, four. There you go, buddy. And Jabba gives me two. It has all three of these. Yes, because he's ridiculous. Okay, so I get two more. Should have got rid of Jabba. I almost got rid of Jabba. Two more. I got two guns and two force. Do I use the force <clears throat> right now? Well, it's at, it, technically you're supposed to be playing the card. So right now you're playing Jabba. So he gives well, I've got two for Chirrut also. Um, sorry. Well, you played Jabba first. I played Are Jabba's you... first, Jabba first, so the force is with me. Yeah, well, and then what, I played is, what does Jabba do, though? You do his ability. Exile one card from your hand to draw one card. Are you exiling a card from your hand? It would be Chiru, because he's on. Or it could be the Rebel Trooper. Yeah, I'll, okay. Or I'll exile the Alliance Shuttle. Okay, then you're losing. Money. Okay, no, I won't. I'll, I'll get rid of this. Okay. So exile that. Okay. To draw one card. Uh, yes, correct. But two cards if the force is with me. Uh, yes, correct. Okay, so I drew two cards. Okay, so Chirrut, because of... Uh, you're playing, I get you're two, playing Chirrut now. I'm playing Chirrut now. So he gives you how much? Two he force? gives me two force, oh and then if it forces you with me, I get two attack. Attack, okay. Okay, so... Jeez. And I get one... Did I get one for him? No, I didn't get one for him. Yeah, you did. Oh, hold yeah. on, let's see Three how many... Three for her. Three for her, one, one for, for him. One for that. Two for him. Uh, two for him. Oh, I guess not. Okay, and then okay. one Jeez. God, I got a lot to buy with. And then I got another one, too. So I got another one. And sorry, dude. <laughs> and three more to buy with? Yes. What does that do? I got what, three. Is, what is his ability? If the force is with you, repair three damage from your base. Well, the force is with me, but my damage. Yeah. I got I got some stuff to buy, I think. You got a, you got a few things to buy. Uh, in row. But what can I buy in this row? What does a sale merge do? Add a bounty hunter from your discard pile to your hand. Yeah, I can't do those. The Sea Rock. Discard one card from your hand. And, oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that'd probably be a good investment. Okay, so let's start with the three. I'm going to get the Sea Rock. Alright. So let's see what comes out. A Duros Spy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Huh? Buying Jabba's after all? I've got Jabba! <laughs> he needs I mean, a you're ride! Not, you're not wrong. He needs a ride! And then I'm not gonna. I, I don't have enough to buy him. So. You don't have enough to buy anything right now. Now let's get Bang Bangs. I got two for him and one for him. You have three attack. And Chirrut, too. Chirrut doesn't have any attack. Oh, yeah, two. Yeah, you have five total. Okay, how many does your base have left? Uh, two, four, six, that's eight left. Eight points left? Yeah, six in base. Uh, That's just chronic. Pay him no mind. Uh, I'm going to... Hold on, let me let me get... Just so I can keep everything in track. I got two damage from him, two damage from him, and one mm. damage from him. So I got five. Well, he can only attack a planet anyway. Yeah, okay. So I can't attack him. 
I don't have enough to attack him. No. Well, I'm just going to have to go all, all five on your planet because I can't. It's, I don't have enough to attack that either. Well, you can't attack those anyway. Yeah, so I'm going to go all five on your planet. I already see the need for like a, a token that says five or ten. <laughs> yeah. And then I have one that I can't spend. So that's it. Came out swinging. Yeah, that was, that was a good round for you, buddy. I came out swinging. Yeah, I'm not doing too hot. Need more defense. You are not going to like this next turn. Great. Yeah, that's great. Um, hmm. Yeah. A three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm taking out your cruiser and doing three to your base. And then I'm getting a measly two. Yeah, this is not a hot turn for me. You can buy um, a Rodian Smuggler. What's a Rodian Smuggler doing? So he gets two while attacking a target in the galaxy row. So he's two attack and he gets a buff of two when he's blowing up something in the middle. Eh. Not bad for two. It's better than kicking the teeth. I mean, I, I guess. I, I guess. Um, what does the outer rim do? He gives you two exile this to gain one force. Yeah, you know what? I'll buy him. And buy Boshek? Yeah, buy Boshek. Get yourself a Boshek. Oh, actually, no, no. I'm gonna buy this Keldor because he gives me two force points on the go anyway, and and I have nothing that gives me force at all, so it's pretty. Ah, oh, freak! Oh, you just gave me Han Solo. Wow, oh. this is rough. All right, go. Okay, let's see here. We got a shuttle, a shuttle, blockade runner, and then I've got a Temple Guardian. I've got Cassian. So when you start out, you got one for your force. Yeah, I got one for my force. I get one for my blockade runner. And I get one for each Alliance shuttle. Yes. Let's see what I got to buy out here. Oh, I'm definitely going to take one for him and buy Han Solo. <laughs> I was afraid of that. Yeah, that's that's definitely a yes. <laughs> Thank you. And then Cassian's got five. And Cassian is going to... Shoot freaking Krennic in the face. Oh. He's gonna shoot Krennic uh. in the face, and I get three resources for that. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I guess that's movie accurate. Yeah, uh, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and and two force, but it's not gonna do any good. You're yeah. max on a force, I can bring a Y wing back out for you. And that was I disappointing. Three, I mean, you can buy the Duros. And or your Y-Wing. I buy both. Oh, yeah. Uh, buy one at a time. I'm going to buy Y-Wing first. See what comes out. Uh, Lando. Oh, he's a he's a neutral. I could buy Lando. He could be Imperial. Oh, well. He's a scoundrel. We might have to renegotiate a deal. I get the Gunslinger. Wait, that was two. Yeah, it was two. You I had... had three. No, no. you Shooting oh, Krennic you in bought... the face oh, gave me three. Oh, you bought the... No, no, yeah. You bought the Y-Wing, right? Yeah, so... it was one and then two. One and then two. Yeah, you're good. All right, buddy. Oh, I have one damage from this to blow up your base. Yep. Pew. That was a lot. That was a lot. <laughs> <of this. laughs> How are you liking the game so far? I'm enjoying it. I always enjoy a game that I'm beating you at. Oh, my with. God. Oh, my God. So. <laughs> it's a way to get me to love a game by beating you in yeah, the first that's, one. You're not wrong there. <laughs> you're not wrong. Um, so I'm going to get seven. I'm going to buy a Star Destroyer. Yeah, Done. here it comes. Done. Grand Tarkin! Oh my god. How much do I need to shoot uh, Tarkin in the face? Uh, six. <laughs> That's too low, I think. Um, do I want a credit? That's useless. I don't need a uh, pew pews. I'm going to use the force actually to get it off your free credit bill. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> and then I am done. Okay. So I get uh, one for the blockade right now. Uh, oh, I forgot actually. Um, so I can exile this. I'm going to exile it. One of its abilities on the Hawks is exile this unit to repair four damage from your base. So I'm going to exile oh. it. Was it in your hand? Yeah. So that's one. That's the thing that got me the Star Destroyer. Okay. It was that along with the three basics. Okay, so I got three for these boys. 
I've got four to shop with. Uh, what can I buy? Enduro Spy. I can buy a Hawk. I don't know if I want to buy a Hawk, but I, I can buy a Hawk. So he's, Hawk's what I have. It gives you four buy and the exile to repair. <laughs> Done. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me think first. <laughs> uh, this is a game four if I kill, that, kill the landing craft. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to kill the landing craft. No! Uh, why would you do that? Yeah, because, you, gain, you gain four. So I gain four. Man, I don't want that landing craft. Boba, he needs empire. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Lando. Uh, two, I can get the Duro Spawn. Oh, can you see what comes out from Lando? From you buying Lando? So, yeah, yeah. Tie Interceptor. Ah. Well, that's enough for a spot, I guess. Let's see what he does. Uh, no, I'll keep him out there. So I don't want to buy him. I'm just I don't, don't need to waste waste it. So I'm gonna do one damage to your base. All right, ready to do this, buddy? Let's do this. All right, got Star Destroyer. How much damage does he have? Seven? No, four. But he has seven health. Oh, oh yeah, seven, his yeah, health, seven. yeah, seven health, yeah. Mm -hmm. Correct. I mean, how much damage does he take? Yeah, no, I, I feel you. He's big. I feel you. Um, three. Ugh, that's sad. <coughs> hmm. Man, uh, I totally want to buy cool things. Don't we all? I totally want to buy cool things. But four is only going to get me a hawk, and I, I like the interceptor a little bit more. Although the hawk will get me buying bigger stuff, I will say. So I am going to um, play Kelder Mystic. He's going to move the, the force back to neutral. Thank goodness. Right? Thank goodness, buddy. Thank goodness? Yes, thank goodness for me. Okay. Um, okay. Actually, not gonna. I'm gonna buy the hawk. So I like I like Z Hawk. It's actually a pretty useful card. So I use this for one, for one. Um, although, uh, eh, eh. <laughs> that's tough. You know, what? I'm take that back. I'm not gonna buy the hawk. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use the Mystic to get rid of the stupid shuttle. And I'm gonna use the three. To, oh no, that's not gonna work either. Okay, maybe not. Okay, hold on. Let's take some thought. <laughs> kind of. Well, because I, I like having the force on my side, just because for my. Well, to be fair, that only gives me like a two. It gives like if I have the force on my side, I get two extra on my death troopers, which is nice, but not like the end of the world. And you only have like one death trooper card now. And I have like one death trooper card. Yes. Um, I like this card uh, just because if it's an, an enemy. Or if it's mine, I draw a card. If it's an enemy, the card gets discarded. Um, but the hawk, and you know, I'm gonna go with my original plan. I'm just gonna go with the hawk. It's gonna enable me to buy some a Dengar, everybody. Woo! Dengi. And then um, the starter sure is gonna blow up your blockade runner. He does four damage. Yeah, just straight up four. Dang you! I mean, it is. A, I mean, you did see the beginning yeah. of. Oh, and Piet was out actually. So uh, it's actually five. Piet. Uh, each of my capital ships get one or more so attack. So you do one, one, so I do one more. Do Mon Calmari. Yep. And you go, sir. Okay. We got Lion Shuttle, Lion Shuttle, Lion Shuttle. Should be three. <clears throat> and I've good. got a Snow Speeder, which your opponent discards one card from their hand. What? Your opponent discards one card from their hand. Uh, I guess I'm not buying much this round. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, <coughs> see, I've got three from him and then I'll, get, I'll do bang bangs afterwards so I've got what am I gonna buy oh hold on I'm going to shoot Boba Fett why would you do that he didn't do anything to because you because he's worth three oh, you suck 
And I get two force points. Oh my god, you extra suck. Beers. And now what can I spend all my crap on? At least Veers is out. But yeah, that sucked. Man. But we have five attack too. Jeez. Veers though, I got baby Veers out. Right, okay, I'm gonna buy Dengar. Go on scum. He's scum. I love scum. I oh know. dang, there's nothing else for me to buy. Except for the Duro Spy. Yeah, oh actually, yeah, there's literally nothing. You have to shoot everything or <laughs> Buy a Dura <laughs> Spy. Or, and don't forget, you got Outer Rim Pilots right here. Yeah, like I need those. I mean, he is an Outer Rim Pilot. They need love, too. <sighs> <laughs> this is pain and... <laughs> I'll buy the Dura Spy. Uh, that's funny. Let's see what comes out. <laughs> Come on! Luke! Potato you're salad. You're not buying Luke anytime <laughs> ever. He's eight. I yeah. could have bought him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. oh, that's pain. And that is. Say goodbye to Luke. <laughs> Somebody gonna shoot Luke in the Somebody's face. Somebody gonna shoot Luke in the face. I just, I hate this, the burster bubble there, but Luke's not gonna Somebody stick around. Somebody gonna shoot Luke in the face. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, pew so, pew. So, ah! <laughs> Uh, if I have a capital ship at play, I draw a card. Um, geez, this is getting ugly now. Uh, I got to add, add, add a trooper for my discard pile to my hand. Um, no okay. troopers in your discard pile. Oh, I should have discarded my trooper. That was dumb of me. Um, I'm going to put a Gazanti out. I'm going to collect two from the Gazanti. Um... I'm going to discard one card from my hand. Oh, actually, hold on. Ah, ah discard one card ah, from my hand ah, ah. to draw a card. And then I play the ad at to draw the trooper back to my hand. See how that works? Ah, 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 ah. That's thinking. That's thinking, buddy. That's <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> uh, and then I got lots more pew pews here we got going on here. <coughs> and I got a one measly buy. <clears throat> well, um, there's going to be a bad day on Mon Cal. That's all I have to tell you. Oh, I everybody. thought you were going to kill Luke. <laughs> oh, no, Luke's going to get killed too. Okay. Everybody, everybody's dying. Everybody's shooting. <laughs> everybody's dying today, buddy. I hate to break it to you. So I need exactly eight. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm going to use these two. I already drew my card for that. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. So six is going to shoot Luke. Eight? It's got to <laughs> kill him. Yeah. I'd add six. Oh, you said six is going to shoot him. No, the six and the two. The okay. TIE Fighter and the TIE Fighter. Okay. So there it is. You said six is going to kill him. I'm like, it takes two more. <laughs> Sorry, I was like thinking at it. <laughs> Which is kind of funny because he bombed me at it. So it's yeah. going to be fun. So I blow up Luke. It gives me four force and four money. Boom. Thanks, Luke. You're such a pal. Princess Leia is going to get shot in the face, too. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, do I need to shoot her in the face? I mean, oh, you, get, you gotta buy eight Star Destroyers, why not? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, Daddy needs some more money, I guess. Well, the sad thing is, is that I only have... You can get Tarkin and the Star Destroyer, I think, if you shoot No, I don't. She gives me a lot of force points, which is nice, uh. but, but she only gives me three money. I have enough to get a Star Destroyer as it is. But you shoot her in the face, you get Tarkin. Well... Well, I already have enough to buy Tarkin. So I either have the option I could buy the Star Destroyer and blow up your base, or I could buy Tarkin, have one left over, shoot her, have four to get Veers. So it's either Star Destroyer. How with, much damage do you have left to deal? I have six? six. I have six left. So you got to shoot. And that's not counting my Star Destroyer. Well, you, your Star Destroyer can't shoot people in the room. No, no. I mean, that's going to shoot at your base anyway. Yeah. So I either spend the two to blow up your base, which is a viable option, but honestly, I don't want to get Leia. What does Leia do? Purchase a rebel card from the Galaxy Row for free. Oh, I'm sorry, Leia. I'm sorry, Leia. You're going to have to die. You're going to have to blow up. You're going to have to blow up now. I'm sorry. I just like read that for two seconds. I'm like, no. Oh, okay. and a carrier. Oh, comes no. Out. Oh, no. Every card on this board is yours. <laughs> I know. It's like both good and bad because I'm like, well, I want all of the things. Um, oh, I might as well do 40 or base now because that's the only little thing I got going on with the, the Star Destroyer. 
Uh, and I don't have P yet out, so I don't do, yeah, it's just a straight up four. So yeah, buddy, look at all this crap. What does, what does he do? He, each of your fighter units gain a, gain, gain a damage. Jeez, this is getting ugly. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh my goodness. You gotta get Tarkin. Uh, what does he do? Add an Empire card from the Galaxy Row to your hand. You must exile that card at the end of your turn. Huh. It gives you a free card from the row into your hand each turn. Yeah, but then you have to exile it. Yeah, it's a free card. Le you Leia use it. gave it for free and it just stayed. That sounds like Tarkin, though, doesn't it? Yeah. He's such a, he's such a tool. Um, man, I want those carriers, though. Man, oh, this is tough, buddy. What do I do? What do I do? Two, four, six, eight, ten. So I got to math it. I could get these two because I like that Imperial Carrier. However, that Star Destroyer you can't beat. I get a Star Destroyer and a TIE Interceptor. But then you could shoot these guys. Yeah, you know what? That's a good point. I'm going to shoot the sh out, of, out of some yeah, of these things. Gonna, yeah, you're going to shoot these guys. <laughs> I am so going to shoot so I'm gonna these buy guys. Them. I'm just going to buy them now and call it a day. Well, uh, well okay, wait, I'll buy Veers first. That gives me... Yeah, a Jawa is not really doing it Ooh. for me. Yeah, and then I'm going to buy Tarkin. Tarkin. <laughs> gives you a spy. Ooh. You get to buy a spy and a job on Oh, buddy. I can't wait. I know that was. I'm going to blow some stuff up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely going to blow some stuff up. Okay, first they're going to put out a Sea Rock. <coughs> it's going to give me one. <coughs> I'm going to put out an Alliance Shuttle, which is going to give me one. And then. I'm going to put out Han Solo, which gives me two monies. And then I get to draw a card. Excuse me. Put out... How many uh, hit points does your base have? My base? Yeah. Uh, five. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. More. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. No, five. I was correct. It is five. Got five left. That's a pretty, pretty chunky base. But... I had a 16 base, yeah. I decided to be chunk. But you gotta go through. I'm gonna put out my there. Rodian Gunslinger, my Rebel Trooper, and my Y Wing. Okay, we'll play them one at a time so we know what's going on. So you got your one, two, where's your other money three, from? Three, four. Okay, so Han three, solo. four. So you play Han first. What does he say to do? Draw one card, which I already did. Okay, you, you drew a card already. Yes, that was my good Rodian Gunslinger. Okay, so who are you playing next? I'm, well, I'm playing a Gunslinger, Trooper, and Y Wing. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna use my combat for. What does he do? Well, I exile this unit to deal two damage to your opponent's base or capital ship you have in play. Okay. So, so he's still, I can he can still attack the two, and then, and then I the, exile it. Yeah, and you just more. crashed into something basically, which sounds like a Y-wing thing to yeah, do. Yeah, that de definitely does. Okay, and then so I've got five, six, seven, eight, nine. Were you 10, doing the, you were using the Sea Rock ability at all, by the way? Was... Discard one card from your hand to repair three damage from your base. But you'd have to discard a card. Which hmm? I'll discard the Rebel Trooper. No, he's, he's discarded, not exiled. Oh, the like difference. Discard. Okay, he's yeah, discarded. So, repair three damage from your base. Yeah, I'll need that. <laughs> Probably. More than I need shoots. Is... So, you have four to buy. Okay. And uh, how much to attack? Three, four, five, six, seven. You have I've seven to attack. Lot. Okay, what I'm first going to do is going to attack the TIE Interceptor with my Rodian Gunslinger. Easy he gains three. two more. Oh, well, attacking. When he attacks in the oh, yeah. Galaxy Okay, so, you so he destroys it. I gain three. three. Yep. Let's see what comes out. Come on. Fang. Hachi machis. A fang. Ooh. It says, when you purchase a unit, add it to your hand and draw one card of the forces with you. It isn't, but it, you, it goes, it goes it directly goes to, to your hand. hand. Yeah. Sold. Not a bad card. Yeah, this. Another fang fighter. <laughs> Sold! <laughs> wow. That was a bad shuffle. Bees. How much is he? Two. Okay, so. What does a tie bomber do if when I blow it up? Is that one card from your hand or discard pile? It's not bad. Or I could just do three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. On your base. Well, on these and then well, the base, yeah. Let's work my is, that, is that what you're doing? Let's chew my way through it, yeah. 
Okay. I got 11 coming at so you. So 10, 11. And I'm going to exile, uh, exile the Y wing to do two more. Two your base. Okay. All right. You got lucky on those Fang fighters. That, that was that was a lot that of luck. Crazy. That was crazy. Like, that was crazy. Really, Fang fighters? Like really? Yeah. All right. Oh, I could have bought Jawa. For one, did you want the Jawa? Did you want the Jawa? Yes, I actually do. Mon Calamari Cruiser, which I can't even touch. All right, buddy. We're getting, oh. there. We're getting there. We should probably pay, play the two bases. Play the two ba You're saying that because my base is almost no, blown I'm up. No, because my phone's probably almost full. <laughs> That's beside the point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if so, we're, we can end the round now, pretty much. Um, Are you going to blow up my... I can. Stuff right now? Uh, is it Empire card? Uh, no, it's a Nebula and B, which is neutral. Um, so it just it does, it, nothing happens. Okay. Uh, discard one card from the Galaxy Roll. Get rid of that sucker. And then, um, let's see, Death Trooper. Uh, so he gains two attack, and then I get two buy. So, yeah, I have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 damage. If we're playing the two bases, it'll be done. Is that what we're doing? Because <laughs> there's, there's an important distinction here. We might. Because <laughs> I'm going to blow up your base if that's the case, buddy. <laughs> that's, totally, that's totally what's going to end up happening. How many hit points does your base have? Two. Uh, Hence why I was like, oh, really? <laughs> oh, that's interesting. The Nebula B is neutral. Um, it can repair three damage from your base or give you three money. Wow. That's actually pretty cool. Not that, I have, enough, like not that I have enough to buy it, but uh, yeah. So did you want to, did you want to end the well, demo well, here? That, this, this video's crazy long. Go ahead okay. and kill me. Okay, well, we'll blow you up. So yeah, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, I chew through all that. Yep, a three here and then ten, so it's seven. So you blew it up. Yep. Yeah, I suggested it. Yeah. Well, if you want to end it there, that's No, fine. we're good. We're good, because this is going to be a long video. This game is... Uh, I think the beginning one is two or three bases anyway. The full game... The full, oh, game, the full the you, beginning game is two yeah, bases? Well, you basically adjust it to your, to your play. If you want a quicker game, they say two to three. If you want a longer game or a normal game, it's like four. And then you can go more if you want. So you can adjust it as much as you want. Hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed that playthrough. We played the two bases, which kind of is a shorter version of it, but you can choose as many bases as you want and make it as long as you want. I hope you enjoyed watching The Empire Crush the Rebel Scum. It was a lot of fun. Honestly, though, it was really close. You were We were both whacking at each other really hard. If we had gone to three bases, you didn't see what I had in my hand. Yeah, I wasn't... <laughs> I wasn't worried about it. It's the Empire. No, we're all good. <laughs> uh, this is a great game. I, what do you think, man? I like this oh, a lot. Oh, I, I like this a lot. Yeah. I, I definitely would say, you know, it, I, I would have been gun shy getting it myself. Mm -hmm. I was, I talked myself out of it almost twice when we were there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I picked it up anyway, and yeah. I'm glad I did because this gives me a, a good feel for Star Wars game. Yeah, this is definitely good. And if we get two copies, I guess we could do a two on two. I don't know what the rules are for that. I'd have to look it up. They obviously change a few things. But no, this game's a winner. I mean, if you need a two-player game, a deck-building game, man, this is this is a complete winner. And especially if you love Star Wars, I highly, highly, highly recommend this. This is a this is a no-brainer, guys. Go ahead and pick it up. We'll probably do a review on it anyway. Otherwise, leave us some comments. Let you know if you like this playthrough and what else you want to see next. Anyway, until then, guys, you know what this you know what we say, right? Game, game on. on. Thank <laughs> you.